The Joker and Harley Quinn are probably the most famous supervillain couple ever, and have been together in TV, movies, video games and comics for over two decades. So needless to say, this means they've had some alone time. Take the night off, let's play. Harley. Wanna try some of my pie? This can of course lead to children. How many can't be said, as a lot of children most likely come out in the future, as new writers try new things. But currently, there are a couple of kids that have been made aware to us. The first one is a girl named Lucy, who was mentioned in the Injustice comics, which is the comic books that tie in with the video game Injustice Gods Among Us and Injustice 2. In one issue, Harley Quinn is talking to Black Canary about her pregnancy, and confesses that she also had a child herself. Though the Joker doesn't know, Harley didn't want the kid exposed to him or their life, so she had left her just under a year, had the baby, and then come back. Apparently, the Joker didn't even notice she was gone. Which does make you wonder what she sees in him, but girls dig jerks, I guess. Back to the van, Harley. Bats and I need to talk. But couldn't. <gasps> Go! No one likes a third wheel. There is also another character who is dubbed as the Joker's daughter, Duala Dent, and though she does often call herself the Joker's daughter in the old continuity and the new 52 continuity, she actually has no relation to the Joker whatsoever, it's all just hype and lies. Although Rebirth is coming out and I don't think she's been mentioned in that yet, so this may change in the future. In the movie Batman Beyond, The Joker Returns, the Joker and Harley Quinn kidnap Tim Drake, one of Batman's Robins, and brainwash and torture him into believing he is their son. But all too soon, the serums and the shocks took their toll. And though this isn't technically their child, I did think it was worth mentioning as they kind of make out it's their kid. In time, we came to love him as our own. Say hello, JJ. <laughs> and later in the film, two of the Joker clan members, a couple of hot female twins called the Dee Dees, are revealed to be Harley Quinn's grandchildren. I struggle to make a good home for you and this is the thanks I get! Ow! Break a grandmother's heart! I hope they throw the book at you! Oh, shut up, Nana Harley. Now, technically we don't know who the grandfather is, but I'd put good money on it being the Joker. But at the very least, this means that Harley Quinn has one child and at least two grandchildren, who are most likely from the Joker. After all, in this continuity, Harley Quinn wasn't involved with any other men other than the Joker, and has been shown in the Batman Arkham games, the DLC for Arkham City, Harley Quinn's Revenge, and the main game, Arkham Knight. Even when the Joker dies, Harley Quinn is still obsessed with him and cannot get away from his shadow, so it seems unlikely that she would take a new lover. Eh, it's not a problem. When I kill this sucker, it'll be cool. Then, maybe come see you? What? Nothing. Uh, no, I, I mean, I'm just being friendly, trying to help. Although there was always the hint of something going on with her and Poison Ivy. There is also some mention of Harley being pregnant in the video game Batman Arkham City DLC Harley Quinn's Revenge, in which Batman finds several negative pregnancy tests and then one positive pregnancy test around a crib with a doll inside it painted like the Joker, which is very, very creepy, especially with her Mockingbird parody lullaby that she sings. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Mama's gonna kill for you the whole damn world. And if they don't laugh at our jokes, Mama's gonna stab out their goddamn throats. Though the positive test is likely a false test since there are so many negatives there, so it could be that Harley Quinn isn't pregnant, but the possibility is there. But what do you think? Is it likely for Harley Quinn to have had the Joker's child in any future Arkham games? Be sure to let us know in the comments, along with whether you'd like to see their children in the future, especially Lucy appearing in the Injustice comics, or even the Injustice video games, and whether you think that there are any more of the Joker's kids out there. And finally, a thank you to those of you who've already donated to our Patreon account, and for those who don't know what Patreon is, it's a site that allows fans to donate to creators in exchange for awards. A link to the site is in the description if you'd like to donate. 
And if you do, thank you. And thanks for watching this video. And feel free to subscribe, share, like, and comment.